it went pretty all right towards the end. Luckily, I didn't have like serious moisture issues on this last attempt when I was running this whole system on LN2. I had one very big like failure attempt during the session. For some reason, I had very bad contact either on the memory sticks themselves or on the back side of the CPU, but I'm pretty sure it was actually the memory sticks. So it seems that you shouldn't use any Vaseline as a form of insulation on the golden contact pads of the memory sticks. Usually I've been doing that just in case if there's some moisture on the memory sticks themselves, if we cannot go too cold. But yeah, so it can happen that when the Vaseline actually freezes like properly, it can actually prevent good electrical connection. So it can make like very weird debug codes. I had a lot of like 54 debug codes with safe settings. So I had to uh, disassemble everything and remount everything. I always use CRC electronic cleaner to fill the CPU socket as well as the uh, uh, memory slots in order to clean them. And you need to make sure that the CRC electronic cleaner has been completely dried out before you try to turn on the parts. So I always use like compressed air to make sure that there's no CRC liquid left inside the socket or inside the memory slots before I start uh, putting everything back together. And I use CRC to clean the golden contact pads of the memory sticks as well. And once it was all like okay, I put everything back together and I had this very awesome LN2 session at the end of this whole thing. So I was looking for very good memory frequency with the best sticks from the bow that I purchased myself quite recently. So I was looking for at least like DDR5 9200 and I managed to achieve that one. It would be awesome to hit even higher frequencies like 9300 or 9400, but I think my IMC is the bigger limiting factor at the moment compared to the memory sticks themselves. We haven't seen like huge difference between different brands of ADI currently, like between uh, th these green bulk OEM sticks and very highly binned sticks from G-Skill, for example. I think we just need to find a better IMC to be able to go much higher on the memory frequency, like 9300 and 9400. But yeah, so I was looking for 18,000 plus score in Geekbench 3 in the memory part, and I managed to do it quite a few times, actually. So I got a few like 18,006, 18,010, 18,060. The best score ended up being 18,073 points. So that's pretty awesome if you ask me. And with a timing table of cast latency of 31, 47, 46, 38, common rate 2, and with very tight sub timings. And the frequency was somewhere around DDR5, 9200, or a tiny bit above. I think the highest frequency I managed to pass during this whole session was like 9230 or something like that. But yeah, so uh, pretty awesome to be the first in the world who has bypassed 18,000 points in the memory part of the Geekbench 3. And we also got some very awesome bandwidth numbers in ADA64 memory test. I really wanted to see what kind of bandwidth numbers could we C with frequency of let's say like TDR5 9200 and with somewhat maxed CPU clock speed. This time around with TDR5, CPU clock doesn't actually have that much impact on the bandwidth numbers nor on the latency score in the ADA64 memory test. Most of the actual uh, performance comes from the actual memory frequency and the latency score will be heavily impacted by the third timings pretty much all of the sub timings and common rate one. So uh, the best latency score I managed to get on that best run was 43.4 uh, nanoseconds. So that's definitely a low value for DDR5 with uh, common rate two. If you want to have very low value on the latency part in ADA64 memory test, you should use common rate one. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. So very awesome results if you ask me and this was very good practice for our upcoming event that will happen in Taipei, Taiwan during next week. So stay tuned for it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like to see this LN2 overclocking action on the Hynix ADI based memory on the Z790 system. Not many people have run these Hynix ADI sticks on LN2 yet. 
as far as I know. So uh, hopefully you like to see the video. Join my Patreon Discord channel as well if you want to support my work. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.